Your whole life, there's always been that one creepy, weird person somewhere in your life. I guarantee it. That's just when we were little. Then you finally grow up. <laughs> That's the sound of growing up. <laughs> Even now, at your job, there is a freak. There is a weird guy at every job that makes you concernicus every time he's around. And the strange thing about it, it's the same guy at every single job you go to, right? He's there, you quit, you go to the new job, and you're like, oh my God, isn't that the guy from the other job? That's the guy, the scary guy. Why am I talking in such a high voice? It's ridiculous. It makes no sense. <sighs> I can describe the guy. I can tell you right now. I can list all the features of this guy. First of all, he's not a fat guy. He's not fat. You would never say he's fat, but he is shapes. He's like an amoeba. He's always a different consistency. He's like a lava lamp type of individual. He walks around very slow. He's got that perfect orb front ass right here. What is that? It's perfect. It's like he's got a botanical garden and he grows potatoes on his taint. What is that? You want to see it, but you don't. You want to see it, but you're all set. Nobody talks to that guy. You don't talk to that guy. He's got the blue blocker glasses on. You never see his eyes. He's got the pocket with the whole jubilee of pens coming up out of there in case he has to write a lot. And nobody talks to that guy. If you're in the break room with a couple of your friends, right, and you see him come morphing in out of your periphery, <laughs> second he comes in, you're like, hey, do you guys want to get the fuck out of the break room? Do you guys want to? What do you guys want to do? Let's go up on the roof and break dance. Let's just, let's go behind the vending machine. Can somebody pull the vending machine up so I can go behind here? Move the machine, please. Please. Nobody talks to that guy, but let me tell you something. Any job I've ever had in my life, I talk to that guy. I would talk to him. I'd find him on purpose, and I would have little chit-chats with him, and I would be very interested. I'd be like, by the way, here's a Snickers. That's for you. Peanuts, caramel. Put that in your mouth. Enjoy that. You know why I talk to that guy? Because when that day finally comes where he snaps, and he comes into work with a sawed-off shotgun, walking through the hall, and he finally gets to my office, he's going to be like, thanks for the candy. 